Yohalim, Jubilees 18. And Elohim said, uh, said to him, Avraham, Avraham. And he said, Behold, here am I. And he said, Take your Yahid, whom you love, even Yitzhak, and go into the high country and offer him on one of the mountains which I will point out unto you. And he rose early in the morning and saddled his ass and took his two young men with him and Yitzhak his son and clave the wood of the burnt offering and he went to the place on the third day. And he saw the place afar off. He came to a well of water and he said to his young men, Abide ye here with the ass and I and the lad shall go yonder and we rather and when we have worshipped we shall come again to you. And he took the wood of the burnt offering and laid it on Yitzhak, his son. And he took in his hand the fire and the knife. And they went both of them together to that place. And Yitzhak said to his father, Father, and he said, Here am I, my son. And he said unto him, Behold the fire and the knife and the wood, but where is the sheep for the burnt offering, father? And he said, Elohim will provide himself a sheep for a burnt offering, my son. And he drew near to the place of the Mount of Elohim. And he built an altar and he placed the wood on the altar and bound Yitzhak, his son, and placed him on the wood which was upon the altar and stretched forth his hand to take the knife to slay Yitzhak, his son. And I stood before him and before the prince, Mastema. And Yahuwah said, Bid him not to lay his hand on the lad, nor to do anything to him, for I have shown that he fears Yahuwah. And I called to him from heaven and said unto him, Avraham, Avraham. And he was terrified and said, Behold, here am I. And I said unto him, Lay not your hand upon the lad, neither do you anything to him. For now I have shown that you fear Yahuwah and have not withheld your son, your firstborn son, from me. And the prince Mastema was put to shame. And Avraham lifted up his eyes and looked, and behold, a ram caught by his horns. And Avraham went and took the ram and offered it for a burnt offering in the stead of his son. And Avraham called that place, Yahuwah has seen, so that it is said, Yahuwah has seen. That is Mount Sion. And Yahuwah called Avraham by his name a second time from heaven, as he caused us to appear to speak to him in the name of Yahuwah. And he said, By myself have I sworn, says Yahuwah, because you have done this thing and have not withheld your son, your Yahid, from me, that in blessing I will bless you, and in multiplying I will multiply your seed as the stars of heaven and as the sand which is on the seashore. And your seed shall inherit the cities of its enemies. And in your seed shall all nations of the earth be blessed. Because you have obeyed my voice and I have shown to all that you are faithful unto me in all that I have said unto you. Go in peace. And Avraham went to his young men, and they arose and went together to Be'er Shiva. And Avraham dwelt by the well of the oath, and he celebrated this feast every year, seven days with joy, and he called it the Feast of Yahuwah, according to the seven days during which he went and returned in peace. And accordingly has it been ordained and written on the heavenly tablets regarding Yasharael and his seed that they should observe this feast seven days with the joy of feast.